your boy Joe back at it again man codingface.com your boy is back and I done did it again all right so listen man today's topic is what is programmer burnout so this guy Richard Kenneth created this post on Hacker Noon you know for medium.com right and basically he goes over his story of how he got burnt out and what it felt for him to go through you know being burnt out of like programming you know sometimes we all go so hard right because at first this the this is how things go guys you guys haven't noticed it right now you guys have this little thing this little bug in your ear that's like oh i want to become a developer i want to do this you know this is what i want to do forever and i just want to get paid and be able to code and that's it right but with time and experience and depending on what company you work at right things are going to start you know dragging you down <laughs> and sorry to be negative but this happens to almost everybody right so that's why it's very important to have vacations it's very important to take time off not to code constantly I myself I feel like I'm getting a little bit burnt down because I work nine to five I come home talk about code with you guys then from there I go and teach courses on on my website codingface.com about code so it's like I'm doing code 24 7 you know and even on the weekends I go in 8 to 10 hours a day on a weekend on just talking about code or creating courses right so at the end of the day like I almost feel like I'm burning out but what I do is I give myself breaks. I take one day off and then do the same thing the next day. I come in, record a couple of videos, then the next day take a day off. You know, just to keep myself, you know, insane, you know, sane, not insane, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyways, going back to his topic, you know, what he was talking about, he was working in the 90s. So it happened to him in the 90s. And he's like, yo, you know, he was procrastinating uh you know taking long coffee breaks going to lunch for a long time came in late left work early you know back in the days most programmers were expected to work late he feared that he was going to lose his job he felt tired and depressed didn't want to look at programming ever again uh you know he finally decided to retire at early at the age of 46 which also too man it kind of like I don't know. It kind of makes me happy to think that you could retire at 46, guys. <laughs> like, I think that's fine. If you're 20-something and you work for 20 years as a programmer and you decide to do something else and you want to retire, listen, <laughs> go ahead, man. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, back to the topic, like, you know, sometimes people, they get burnt out. You know, like, it, it just happens. You know, because coding is... It's like lifting weights every day with your brain. People think that this is easy. This is like an easy job where you're going to be like super happy all the time. And that's not the reality of things. A lot of times, like the more experience that you have, the more difficult the, the job is going to be. So it's like the same thing I told you guys the other day. Like, oh, I don't want to get the title uh, senior developer or lead developer because it comes with more responsibilities than I want to give, right? And it's because I don't want to burn myself out. Almost everybody that I know that has been doing this for like 10 years and the more responsibilities that they get, the less that they want to code because we love to code. We just don't like the, the work environment, right? Sometimes you create something and somebody else don't like it or somebody in your team messes up the code and now you got to clean up their bugs and like it's a lot of shit man that that goes into this job and people just don't don't like to admit it that you know like you're going to burn out at some point if you go super hard like for like 10 15 20 years you're gonna burn out but for me there's light at the end of the tunnel right because <laughs> look i'm sorry but this guy at 46 he he retired at 46, man. That's not a bad story, guys. Because look at those guys that work for the city. 
you know, fucking those guys that work for the city, I don't know, garbage men or or whatever, right? Those guys that are working constructions or whatever. Think about any fucking hard job that's out there. What type of job besides cops and besides firemen do you know that guys get to retire at 46? There's not that many jobs that, you know, you could say, hey, I'm going to retire at 46. Nah, most people got to continue working until they almost dead at 60 something, 70 years old, you know? So, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I want to say cry me a river to this guy. Like, hey, you got to be, <laughs> to retire at 46, man. You can't complain. You did this for a while. You did good. You know, you were smart. But there's definitely, you know, it's, like I always say to you guys, there's definitely a lot of stress, you know, in this field. This is not something that, you come in and you're like, oh, shit is going to be good every day. No, every day is a new problem. Every day is something else that you got to solve. There's never a good day. Or like, let's say sometimes you're stuck working on a programming language that you hate. You know, some people might hate PHP or some people might hate working with a framework. I don't know, whatever framework you fill the blank in, right? So you might be stuck and have to work on that framework for nine to five and you're like man i fucking hate doing this shit so that's what burns you out man so yeah man this is a pretty good article and yeah i just wanted to show it to you and talk to you guys about it because this shit happens to everybody man that's what i tell you guys like you gotta have also a plan b like programming is a way to basically get money and to become successful and but at the same time you got to think about it you can only do this for so long you know you do 10 15 20 years in this industry and then that's it like your brain is done <laughs> your brain is tired and you want to do something else with your life sometimes you become bored by the technology at the moment like you see it's cool what he said here he said that now he uses Python and, and Go. Like sometimes something new comes up and you're like, oh, you get excited and you're like, you want to get back into it. But, you know, you just got to have that plan B. See what the hell you got to do. And you always got to have an escape, right? Something to escape. You got to say, hey, I want to join MMA or I want to fucking do jujitsu on, on the weekends. I want to fucking go fishing. I want to play golf. I want to. I don't know. You guys think about your plan B, your exit plan after coding. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. Bow. Hey, man, you thought it was over? Nah, dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right? You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids, all right? And then from there, you got um, our sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, Udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful, and I'm doing my thing thanks to Udemy. Okay, guys? Check those links out. Best instructors in the world. They're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right, and then from there you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room. It's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy Matt, you got your girl Barbara, you got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam, we got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time, just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingPhase.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.